Heather here with Pinwheel in the Wind, and today is our fourth video in the series of learning activities for toddlers. If you miss those other videos, make sure you go and check them out. Today's video, we are featuring Kuman's workbook series. Now, hold on, it's not necessarily workbooks, it's more of activities um, that are inside of a workbook, but you take them out and you do an activity that work on fine motor skills like cutting, stamping, pasting, things like that. There are also additional ways that you can use these resources so they have a twofold um, play rather than just, oh, I cut the paper and now we're done. And I will show you how to do that in this video. I hope you enjoy. Kuman's First Steps Workbook Series. I think there's even more of them out there than these ones, but these are the ones that I have. Um, and they start with simple skills for your two-year-old or older um, to work on to grow those skills. So coloring, folding paper, stickers and pasting, cutting paper, cutting paper animal style, and more cutting paper. So mainly cutting paper is this series. <laughs> so each workbook comes with an informational page for you as the teacher or parent on what the point of the book is, the features of the book, and what the, the goals are, what you want your child to be able to do by the end of it. So each page gives an exam, it tells you, it gives you a little note to the parents about things you could say. And then it shows you what it should look like when it's all done and you'll need a yellow crayon for this one. So this one is color in that yellow circle. But as you can see, this is lesson 10. We've already done lessons one through nine, which start even easier. Um, an example of one of the earlier lessons. Here, she has a hose and they're to draw water shooting out of the hose. So it starts with easier things like that. And then it grows into more control. This is to try and get your child more controlled of you need to fill, a, fill in that yellow circle so that it matches the rest of the lemon so we can't see the white anymore. But it goes through that for a while. Um, it advanced, this is also obviously great to work on your colors as well, not just coloring. And then here, multiple colors, finding the right color to put into your holes all the way up. Coloring the big flowers, that's a bigger space to color. And then coloring in the crayons and the strawberry and this line here. I like that they give you an example and you can see that like, it's a two year old, we're not trying to get perfect. And each book comes with a certificate of achievement, which I think is just a fun thing for your kid to have. Like I said, we are on lesson 10 of this Let's Color book, and I have seen extreme improvement in her coloring. The Let's Fold, this one is a little bit harder for her. What's cute about this book is, so see, this is the very first um, thing, and it shows you um, you're going to end up playing peekaboo with it. So the first thing is you're supposed to cut along this line, but I'm just gonna fold it for now. But basically you will give your child just this face. And then it's fold, peekaboo. And so it's teaching your child how to fold, which they give tips and tricks inside of the book on how to, to work with your toddler to get them to do that. So as you can see, we are up to level eight right now, which is going to be folding the strawberry, a half strawberry to a whole strawberry. It even goes advanced as this last activity called a magic lamp. You fold it one way and it's the guy rubbing the bottle and you fold it the other way and it's the genie coming out. But you can see there's all of those folds that your child will do. The Let's Sticker and Paste, this is by far my daughter's favorite book. We're all the way to lesson 21. The first few pages were stickers to teach your child how to peel and then stick. And then here in like 21, so around halfway through the book, um, your cut, well, the parent will cut out the snails and then the child will glue the snails onto the leaves and you can work on big and small and not just gluing them anywhere you want on the paper, but on a place that makes sense and facing right side up. So this one is almost like a little puzzle and then you get bigger puzzles, four piece puzzles with gluing. And then the last one is pretty hard. It's a six piece puzzle, but this dotted snake. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty hard by this point for a toddler at least. Now the Let's Cut, pa Cut Paper series books are all 
generally kind of the same activities in each. There's just so many of them. There's even more than this because cutting is one of the hardest skills to learn for a toddler. Um, the only difference is in the more books, they're going to start off just a little bit more advanced than these books. These books started off with just cut one line. This book starts off with cutting four lines. So you're going to cut the clown's legs and then his legs can swing back and forth. This one you cut it and it makes a puzzle. You can then put the puzzle together after you've cut it. This one you cut and it's a yo-yo. You can swing down to the ground this yo-yo. So this one here, your child will cut these three lines. You as the parent will tape it together and you can actually make it into a tug of war game where you can hold one side, your child can hold the other and then you pull and then whoever has the tape piece left on that team won. So there are all these fun activities after you finish the cutting um, that makes it so much fun for your child because not only are they learning to cut, but when they're done, there's kind of like a little prize almost, like you get this little activity, like this one, make the octopus all wiggly. Now, if you are concerned with a two-year-old cutting like I was using scissors, even kid scissors kind of freaked me out, these are actually plastic scissors, so you will not hurt yourself at all but you can still cut paper with it very easily. This is what um, I use with my daughter because like I said, even kid scissors weirds me out a little bit. But as you can see, it cut the paper effortlessly, but they don't hurt your fingers at all because they're completely plastic. So I will link these down below along with all of these books so you can easily find them on Amazon. And with these Kumon books, you get even more bang for your buck because like I said, it has all of the end results are an activity. You can easily take those activities when your child is done with them and laminate them and turn it into a busy bag or a restaurant kit or however you want to word that. So these ones are all from the Let's Cut Paper series. Before I laminated it, I just cut the line a little bit cleaner because obviously that a two-year-old is going to cut kind of rough. And now there's an activity of the mouse wants to run away and the cat has to chase. Ah, oh, help! Yeah! So activity, fun. There's puzzles, two-piece puzzles like this. Put the boat together. Even has a four-piece puzzle in here. And we are only like one-third the way Um through those books, if even that. So she's gonna get lots of activities with them, and now they're a great busy bag kit. They keep her entertained when we're in a restaurant. So I love that these books actually come with this um, activity mindset behind it. I will um, link the laminator that I have down below. It's not very expensive. And if you're doing tot schooling or any, just if you wanna make busy bags and restaurant activities, a laminator is just so key and crucial to doing that. So this was a look inside the Kumon First Steps Workbooks um, series. And my daughter truly, truly loves these books. She gets so excited every time she sees me take one out. I have to keep them hidden to keep her from begging for them day in and day out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these activities. Leave a comment down below. What are some things that you're using with your child to work on these um, different motor skills? Until next time, bye.